Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back. I'm Quinn and today I wanted to talk to y'all about the Centro, but more specifically about whether or not you should get a Centro. So obviously I like the Centro. I have one right here. I use it all the time. Most of my videos are about me using the Centro. So clearly I like it, but my goal is not to just tell y'all to get one. My goal is to inform y'all about the Centro, about its pros and cons, and hopefully that will give y'all enough information for y'all to make an informed decision for yourselves about whether or not you should get one. So first things first, what is a Centro? A Centro is a circular knitting machine that you can use to make various different kinds of projects, usually hats, scarves, blankets, but you can make a ton of different things on the Centro. There are a lot of different brands. I am just going to be referring to all of them as Centros for simplicity's sake. There is one brand in particular called Addy, the Addy knitting machine, that is a little bit different than the Centro and all of the other brands that are like the Centro. It still is a circular knitting machine, but it's slightly more high quality and is definitely more expensive because of that. Basically the only difference between the Addy and the Centro or other Centro variants is the Addy is just slightly more sturdy, you know, like a little more durable and you can typically use bulky yarn on it. And I think people in general just consider it to produce slightly higher quality garments, but I don't really know about that because I've never used an Addy. I've only used a Centro, so just keep that in mind today when I'm talking about all this, but mostly everything I'm gonna talk about will also apply to the Addy, and definitely everything I'm talking about will apply to all of the other Centro variants. So the Centro comes in three different sizes. They have a 22 pin machine, a 40 pin machine, and a 48 pin machine. I have only used the 48 pin machine, but the different sizes are just mostly used to make various different projects. I get people asking me what size Centro they should buy, and my recommendation is always going to be the 48 pin machine because you can make small things on a larger machine, but you can't really make large things on a smaller machine or like you can, but it's a lot more work. I just will give y'all a little background on my experience with the Centro because maybe that will be useful for y'all. So I have had my Centro for definitely over a year and a half. It could be more, but I, I'm not really sure. So I haven't had it super long, but I do use it a lot and I am actively trying to learn more about it. Like every single day I watch so many tutorials. So I feel like, you know, I do know a lot about using the Centro. I feel pretty confident in my abilities. I think that I make pretty nice things on it a lot of the time. And if you've been around in this channel for a while, then you know that I am actively trying to teach y'all what I know about the machine as well. So I wanna talk about why I specifically like it and then what I've heard from other people about why they like it or things that I could imagine what other people would like about it. So I think, you know, the number one thing that everybody likes about the Centro is speed. You can make things very quickly on the Centro compared to hand knitting and I love that. I don't have a ton of time to make stuff. One, you know, I make stuff for videos and it's nice that I can whip things out quickly for a video. But two, I don't have like a ton of free time to just make stuff either. And I am very slow at working. So it's just nice to be able to sit down and see something actually have progress in it in just like a few minutes or, you know, sometimes a few hours, depending on what you're making. So it's just, you know, it's satisfying. Next thing that I really like about it is there is a pretty shallow learning curve compared to hand knitting and sort of compared to crocheting, I would say. Just to do the basics on the machine, it really doesn't take that long to learn. I know some people still like struggle with certain things, like certain aspects, but in general, just learning to cast on, cast off, making a tube and making a panel, you can do a lot with that. And 
in general, most people can learn that and do that well very quickly compared to other forms of fiber arts such as knitting and crocheting. That sort of relates to another thing that I really appreciate about the Centro. It kind of helps people get interested in fiber arts. It gets them introduced to it because the learning curve is a lot more shallow than hand knitting or crocheting. And the price point is pretty decent. So I think a lot of people are willing to try to get into fiber arts through using this circular knitting machine. And I think it's a pretty natural progression to go from making things on the Centro to wanting to learn how to hand knit or learn how to crochet, which I just think is really cool. The next thing that I really like about it is it's fairly inexpensive. You know, you have the one upfront cost of buying the machine and then, you know, you get some yarn every once in a while, but compared to hand knitting, for example, where you need so many different kinds of needles to do what, you know, whatever project you're wanting to do, that gets expensive. And that's honestly keeping me from getting more into hand knitting is because I, you know, I feel unprepared. I don't really want to look for any hand knitting projects because I probably don't have the right needles for it. And then I'd have to go buy them and that's just, it gets expensive and it's a little daunting, but any project that you see someone make on, you know, a 48 pin machine, you can make on your 48 pin machine. You know, the only barrier there is skill, not materials or tools. The next thing that I really like about the Centro is definitely more specific to me or other people like me. I have chronic pain that really is a pain in the butt. Um, and I cannot crochet or hand knit for long periods of time without my chronic pain acting up. And then, you know, I need to take a break from my project. And so I can't make a lot of progress at one time. And it's really annoying. So, you know, like I said earlier about the speed, I like the Centro because I can make things more quickly with it, but it's also, it personally doesn't make my chronic pain act up as much as crocheting or hand knitting. And even if it did, you can make things way more quickly. So like you're, you know, you still get like good amount of progress anytime you work on your project. That sort of relates to things that other people have told me about why they got a Centro. Some of them were getting older and so it was harder for them to hand knit as frequently, just harder on their bodies. The Centro is just a lot easier on your body, which doesn't necessarily matter for every person, but definitely matters for me and a lot of other people. So that is like, a really big reason why I would recommend someone to get the Centro. If you are still interested in doing fiber arts, but you find it more difficult to do hand knitting or crocheting, then definitely try out a Centro because then you can continue to do this hobby that you love and it's not going to hurt you. <laughs> I think I'm kind of losing my voice because I've been talking so much today, so I'm sorry. But now we can talk about some of the downsides of the Centro. So first thing is this machine is made of plastic and it's not like super durable plastic like I've heard the Addy is made from. So I've heard of people's Centros breaking a lot, which is definitely something to keep in mind if you are considering getting this or not. I am just really careful with my machine. So I've never broken anything on my machine and I just, I try to, take things slower on the machine. I see people just like crank like crazy or if you're gonna use a drill on your machine, it's more likely that it's gonna break. So that's just, you know, that won't happen for everybody, but it is something to keep in mind. But the thing that I see break most often on people's machines is the tension guide. This thing, this thing right there. The tension guide does seem really easy to break off, but you can buy a replacement, so. I don't know. It's probably not that big of a deal if that part breaks. If you have the money to get an Addy, I've heard that those are a lot sturdier and they don't really break or have the same kinds of problems that the Centro or other Centro adjacent knitting machines have. Next downside kind of has to do with the learning curve, which we were talking about earlier. It does have a shallow learning curve to do, you know, the basics, but if you want to do more advanced things on the Centro, 
there is definitely a steeper learning curve. It definitely still isn't a steeper learning curve than hand knitting, but it is still a steeper learning curve. And the thing is, is that there's not a ton of tutorials out there. So you're gonna kind of have to just like play around and figure out a lot on your own, which I think is kind of a big downside. To really get into any hobby like this, it takes a lot of support and practice and you know, tutorials and patterns and all of that. And there's just not a lot of that out there. I am, you know, I have some if you want to check that out. But you know, a lot of the stuff I just kind of had to figure out on my own. And it's uh, a pain. Um, not gonna lie. That is definitely something I could see turning people away from getting a centro, there not being a ton of support because, you know, you're doing this as just a hobby and you don't necessarily want to have to spend so much time and like mental work thinking about how to do all of these things on the machine and then sometimes it doesn't work out. That is frustrating. Sometimes you just want to sit down and follow some instructions and then get your project and that is harder, not impossible, harder to do on the Centro just because it takes a lot of individual work. You know, you know what I mean. Another big downside of the Centro is it doesn't work with most yarns. It does not work with cotton yarn. It works best with acrylic or wool yarn. So, you know, there's just not like a lot of options in there. And then also it does not work very well with anything smaller than DK weight yarn or anything larger than worsted weight yarn. Some bulky weight yarns do work, but you know, you just don't have like a ton of options in there. And obviously that can feel very limiting, but there's still a lot that you can make with that. And I am constantly trying out new yarns to try to find some more warmer weather yarns that will work. And I, I do think I have found something, but that is for a future video. I gotta like really try it out still, so I'm not gonna uh, reveal that here, but stay tuned. Next downside is you can't really get a wide range of gauges on the machine. You know, you can really only use DK or worsted weight yarn and you have your tension guide, which, you know, you can change your tension a little bit, but it's just, it's hard to get something super tight knit unless you're using worsted weight yarn. And it's hard to get something very loose knit unless you're using DK weight yarn. And there's just not like a lot of variety or range in that. There still is a lot that you can do, but it's just, you can't do as much as you can with hand knitting. I think that we just need to make sure that we're thinking about hand knitting and machine knitting as two different things. Everything that you can do on the Centro, you can do with hand knitting. Not everything that you can do with hand knitting, you can do on the Centro, but the Centro has its own positives that I think hand knitting doesn't have. So it is limited, but you know, it has all those other positive things about it in its favor that to me outweigh those negative aspects. So basically I think it just comes down to each individual person and your lifestyle for whether or not you should get a Centro. Obviously I really love the Centro and I do have ulterior motives for recommending Centros to y'all because I want it to be like hand knitting or crocheting where there's all this support all these resources because you know I, I want more patterns, I want more tutorials, I want more ideas for things I could do on the Centro. So that, I mean, I do, I do want that, but I know that they're not for everybody. So I hope that this video has provided y'all with enough information or just perspective from someone who has been using a Centro for a long time. And I, I don't know, I feel like I'm sort of clicked into the Centro discourse and the Centro world so I hope that this was useful to y'all. Let me know if y'all are gonna get a Centro possibly or you know what's hindering you from getting one. I'd love to chat about it. So if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like. And if I did convince you to get a Centro, then don't forget to subscribe because I come out with a lot of Centro content. So I hope you'll have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.